Hi and welcome back to Warframe. So, he is back. The Void Trader has returned and he is located on the Lorunda Relay on Mercury. At least this is what I'm being told. I wasn't actually here to guess this time. He's only been here for about two or three minutes now, so fingers crossed. So, he is actually here. All these people have just spawned in, but what's he selling? So, he's selling the left Prisma Deadless Shin Guard and the right one. It's 65 Ducats each. That's 130 total and 75,000 credits each, which is obviously 150 total. I think my math's right there. Mm. High voltage? Yes. Um, no. <laughs> Okay, it's not actually that much. I am really tempted on the high voltage. That's electrical damage plus status chance. That is really handy. I actually am going to because I need another one of those, unfortunately. Um, okay, yes, it did actually turn to two as we left there. And he has returned with the Mara Detron. That is actually a pretty decent pistol. Was expecting, considering the the Kubro weeks of the Kubro bonus weeks that are here, was expecting him to come with a the Kubro Nexus skin, but I don't really want to buy these. But I will buy one so we can go have a quick look at them because it is a Prisma, so it could look pretty nice. The, the primed ones, not so much. That is much better. Obviously the chess piece he had two weeks ago. I've actually gone into attachments here and taken all the colours off by hitting the default colours. It just removes all colours now and it's actually turned it to the kind you see in the image. I like the way the energy effect goes up. Kind of the same as the chess piece has the same energy effect. It's why I like the Prisma stuff. It's why on Nova I'm using the Prisma Sandana. The first one, not the second one. I can never remember the name of that thing either. But that does look pretty nice. Considering it's only like 65 Ducats, it's not that bad. Both of them, I think, might be overkill because of the way it flares off. So, I'm happy with just the one, to be honest. I was the same with the shoulder pieces to be for them. I bought one. And I, I did pick up the second one eventually, but I didn't go out my way to get it. It just came back up and I thought, well... Why not? It's here. I might do the same with the other one, but I'm quite happy just having the one because I like the colour effect of it, but you'll have to have the whole set to keep it as the standard colour. And once you kind of change it up a bit, it actually doesn't look that bad. But there you see, just random colours. The energy effect disappears. Like that, more... Actually, if I copy the main colours there... I don't know how that's quite the main colours, but you'll see the energy effect is gone. So, eh, I kind of like it like that. That looks pretty cool. The chest piece looks much better now. It's got no colours at all to it as well. That's pretty much it there. There's the two shin guards, high voltage, that. I'm glad to get a, ha a hold of a second one of them. And the Mera Detron. So, not a bad week, actually. People are going to be over the moon because when he first came out, they didn't know he did this. So a lot of people missed out on that. Well, they can get it now. So maybe the complaining will stop now with the the rifle mod and a new weapon to play with. So in total, in the, that is the two event weapons, because obviously you can only get one, and then you've got the strun as well, hence two. And that, separate to the three that came out this week. So that's actually a lot of weapons this week. So you'll be here uh, like normal till Sunday. And then he'll be gone for another two weeks. So we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.